Welcome back students. This is the reading section for unit five, which means we are almost done. Felicidades. We are going to listen to the audio. Please listen and follow along in your book. And then we are going to answer these questions about the reading. We're going to answer the vocabulary. And then we'll finish with number one in the speaking section. So this is actually from the movie. I watched the movie in school. If you can't find the book, but you can find the movie, it's almost word for word with the book. So let's get started. Page 36, reading. The story of the old man and the sea. Santiago was an old and experienced Cuban fisherman, but his luck had run out. He had gone 84 days without catching a single fish. In fact, he was so unlucky that his young apprentice, Manolin, had been forbidden by his parents to sail with the old man. However, the boy still visited Santiago's shack. The boy helped him carry back his fishing gear, gave him food, and discussed American baseball with him. Santiago continued to go out onto the gulf to fish. He threw his lines, and, by noon, a big fish had taken his bait. Santiago was unable to pull in the large marlin, and instead, the fish pulled his boat out to sea. For two days and two nights, Santiago fought with the marlin and held on to the line. Santiago felt compassion and admiration for his great opponent. On the third day, the fish began to circle the boat and showed signs of being tired. Santiago used all the strength he had left in him to pull the fish close to the boat. With a harpoon, he killed the marlin. In this way, the struggle between the old man and the fish ended. Santiago tied the marlin to the side of his boat and headed home. He was thinking about the high price the fish would bring him at the market. While Santiago was sailing back to the shore, sharks were attracted to the blood left by the marlin in the water. The sharks began attacking and eating the dead fish. Santiago tried to protect his catch, but the sharks kept coming. When the old man finally reached the shore, he had only a skeleton of the big fish. It's the head, backbone, and tail. The sharks had eaten the rest. An exhausted Santiago made his way to his shack and sank onto his bed. Ah, looks like the audio cut off because I changed pages. So, the next day, a group of fishermen gathered around his boat to admire the fish's huge skeleton. It measured 5.5 meters from the nose to tail. Manolin ran to the shack in tears when he learned the old man was safe. When Santiago woke up, the two promised to fish together once again. All right, that is a short version of the book. I encourage you to read the book or watch the movie. Now let's get started with the about the reading section. Number the sentences in the correct time sequence. So. I'm going to read them to you first, and then we will put them in order. For two days and nights, he had struggled with the marlin. He killed the marlin with his harpoon. The sharks had eaten most of his fish. He was unable to pull the fish onto the boat. The fish's blood attracted the sharks. The old fisherman had been unlucky for some time. All right. So what do you think is first? This one. The old fisherman had been unlucky for some time. All right. So number two. For two days and nights, he struggled with the marlin. He killed the marlin. The sharks ate it. He was unable to pull the fish. Onto the boat, the fish's blood attracted the sharks. So let's go to the reading. What happened? All right, Santiago was 
unable to pull in the large marlin. And then for two days and two nights, he fought with the marlin. So he was unable to pull the fish onto the boat. Number two. For two days and nights, he had struggled with the marlin is number three. All right. So before the sharks got there, he had to kill the marlin. All right, and because he killed the marlin, the fish's blood attracted the sharks, which ultimately led to the sharks eating most of the fish. So there you go. So practice reading these in order in your spare time. Vocabulary. Match the words with their meaning. So I'm going to read these and these. Please repeat after me. Apprentice. Gear, compassion, opponent, struggle, exhausted, strenuous effort, very tired, a person or thing you are fighting against. Equipment, pity, feeling of sympathy, person learning a trade or occupation. All right, very good. Now, which one do you think is an apprentice? An apprentice is a person learning a trade or occupation, F. Gear. What do you think is gear? Gear is your equipment. D. Compassion. It is, what do you think? It is E. Pity, a feeling of sympathy. Number four, an opponent is a person or thing you are fighting against. C. Number five, struggle is a strenuous effort. And that means exhausted is very tired. So in order, F, D, E, C, A, B, practice reading the words with their definitions. All right, and speaking. So if there's no room here, you need to do this one in your notebook. What's your favorite kind of book? Kind is type. And I want you to tell me why. So please do this in your notebook. That is it for Unit 5. Thank you for following along. Remember, if you have questions, please send me a message on WhatsApp or an email so I can help you. I want you all to succeed, and I understand it's difficult right now with, uh, with the online classes. So whatever I can do to help you, please let me know. I miss you guys so much in my classroom. I hope you are all doing well. Adios.